Today we are going to discuss about two fact tables, transactional fact tables and periodic snapshot fact tables. Let's begin with transactional fact tables. Transactional fact tables are basically lower in grain. When we talk about transactional fact, usually the data at the source side is equals to the data at the target side. Transactional fact can report on lower grain as well as higher grain when we roll up the data. To start with transactional fact, consider we have a source system where we have orders at the source side. Okay. Now consider we have around 80 orders on Tuesday, 70 orders on th Wednesday and Thursday we have 90 orders. Now we have batch ETL batch is running every night. Okay. The daily load. Now what is happening? We have a fact table here which is our target, the DW side. Now, in case of transactional fact, what happens is usually the data at the everyday batch, it gets loaded. So consider this is our data for Tuesday. So 80 records will got loaded in transactional fact on Tuesday. Okay. Now, same thing on Wednesday when the batch runs, usually 70 records will get loaded on the target side. Now on Thursday, we'll have around 90 records. Okay. Now, if you see the total records at the site source side, it is around 240 records. So by Thursday end of the day, we'll also have 240 records on the target side as well. So if you see the data which is in the source side is similar or equal to the data on the target side. Okay. This is why this is transactional because it loads the data at very transaction level, how it is captured and the source side. Let's talk about aggregated fact now. An aggregated fact table or a periodic snapshot fact table is usually in higher grain than transactional fact. It accumulates basically a period of data and then keeps the data in the fact table. It is actually in lesser size than the transactional fact table. Now let's talk about aggregated fact, which is the periodic snapshot. So basically we'll start with aggregated. So consider we have orders where we have on Monday, we have 10 orders, Tuesday, 20, Wednesday, and similarly till uh, next Monday, we have 15 orders. Now consider your batch is running every two days. Okay. Every two days, the batch is running. So what will happen at the target side? So if we aggregate this, so this is two days data loaded every day right so the first batch will load data uh, on tuesday on tuesday we will get around 30 records here okay similarly when the batch runs on thursday so we are running the batch every two days so similarly when the batch runs on thursday the data will get loaded into the fact which will be around 11 records right this would be on thursday when the third batch runs on saturday we'll have around 22 records on the fact this is on Saturday. Similarly, when the fourth batch runs on Monday, again, we'll get uh, 26 records here. Now, if you see, we are loading data in aggregated fashion. So every two days we have data, right? Which is higher in grain. Okay. And it's periodically of two days period, it is aggregating the data. So this is a aggregated snapshot, which is also known as periodic snapshot. Now, if you want to see the data for a whole week, you can start or whole month, you can start aggregating the data on basis of month. Okay. Similarly, we can have the data in any grain. So you can have weekly data batch. We can have monthly data batch all get loaded in this aggregated batch. So if you see, it is usually on higher grain. And since this is on higher grain, you cannot get a roll down report. Means you cannot get a daily report on this fact, right? This is usually useful when you have huge volume in transactional data. Consider Amazon. You have millions of records coming every day. So if you want to do an analytical report based on a year, it will consider 365 into million of records. So, so many number of records will get aggregated. So what Amazon would do is they will monthly aggregate the data and keep that data in aggregated fact. So when they want to do a yearly report, they can just do the aggregation on the monthly aggregated fact and they can get the data. Now, when we are talking about periodic snapshot, there is one more type of snapshot that happens in aggregation. This is point on time. Now, when we say point on time, Okay, so what happens usually consider you have subscribers in YouTube, right? So on January, you have 10 subscribers which were added. Okay, 
on january you got 10 subscriber on february you got 5 subscriber and on march on you got 15 subscriber now consider this is monthly data right so your monthly job runs monthly job runs and we have a fact table here of for subscribers what will happen here is when we the january data will get loaded we'll have 10 subscribers here on january now in february data will get loaded so we will have a periodic snapshot till february so we'll have 15 here which is equals to jan plus feb 5 right this two this comes as 15 so on february we'll have 15 similarly on march we'll have 15 uh, which is 15 on feb plus 15 on march so this is equals to 15 plus 5 15 sorry which is equals to 30 so on march you will have 30 now can you sum this now if i ask you what is my total subscriber at march so at point of time on march we have around 30 so our subscriber count is 30 on march you cannot say jan plus feb plus march because this is snapshot on march which is at that very point of time that is why this is a snapshot fact which usually you cannot aggregate okay you cannot roll up so this is on point of this is something we have to design very carefully so this can also have a use case consider amazon now they have accumulating they are accumulating orders throughout the year right so if they do it monthly by monthly suppose january they got for example 100 orders now in feb they are getting 100 orders so by snapshot they what they will do is they will put a snapshot on feb as 200 january 100 plus 500 so that will help them to get the results faster at the year end they do they will not need to aggregate it at the time of year end they can just get the latest of december point in time and they will get the current volume of the orders that they have in december point of time which is the aggregation from january till december